Okay, so here I am vlogging from my home office. I'm so nervous and so excited, but I'm just excited to share. So why is it so important for me to have a vlog? Why did I really want to share my heart, my soul with the world? I think for me it's this connection. It's this connection to people. I like to connect deeply with people. I like people to really know who I am. For me, it is being more aligned. Like more being in one line with reality, I'll explain. It is what I'm feeling inside, what's going on inside my heart and inside my head is expressed. So you understand what's going on, or at least you hear what's going on inside me. And not needing to hide this is very important to me. Why? Because it makes me feel aligned with reality. When I'm trying to be something else, when I'm trying to pretend to have a persona, to have like a certain look, what you project to reality is not always what's going on inside. And for me, I really want people to, f to understand what's going on inside. Sometimes when you meet people, you try and be something to please what they want to see, right? People see what they want to see, so you want to kind of help them see what they want to see and maybe change with a little bit your persona. The cons of hiding and trying to be something else is that people know you for something else and then they treat you like something else and later on in life it creates like a conflict in your head because you keep on... It's a lot of work. Trying to be something else is a lot of work. Being who you are will A, make you feel more comfortable because you'll just be aligned, you'll just be in this one mindset with what's going on because you're yourself, so what's going on, you respond as yourself. And two, you're connected with the right people. People that would like that real person that you are will really connect to you. And you won't have to connect with people that connect to that person that you're not. Does that make sense? Being here on my blog, I could just be myself. It's just me in my room by myself. And I could just really let myself be who I am. And the first thing that I wanted to say is... What happens if I don't wake up tomorrow? What is death? What is goodbye? And ah, it was hard. And I try to think, what did I really want people to know if I die? What do I want to leave behind me? And what I really want people to know if I die is that that I really love them. Um, I want people to feel loved. If there's something I could leave behind me, is I want people to feel loved. For whatever value I have to people, I just want them to know that I love them so much. <sighs> There's so many reasons to love, um, and I just want people to know that, that I love them no matter who they are, no matter where they are, and no matter what they did, because we're all humans and we all try the best we can and we all have different things that we're dealing with at the moment, and I know that it's hard. And there's no way to describe hardships for every person. Pain is, you know, it's much more than that word. And happiness is much more than that word. And every human, every soul, every being is so valuable. I don't know why I want people to feel loved. Or I don't know why I feel like I love everybody, but I know that I do. I just, I just affiliate with everybody. I think there's so many reasons to love Everybody, I think there's so many reasons to love people. I find it exciting to love, to love people. I love to walk to people on the street and smile to them and, and share that warmth because we all have that inside. Really, we all have that inside, that warmth and that smile and that genuinity. Genuinity. I, I just love to share that with people. And I really think that this is how the world is gonna be healed. According to Judaism, according to so many other traditions, it just seems like the accumulated wisdom of the world, the accumulated wisdom of the world is the religions of the world. They all kind of get to this bottom line that the world was destroyed over senseless hatred in some sort of way, right? And the world would be healed over senseless love. Right now, we see that today. Entrepreneurship, collaboration, cooperation. Every person finally gets to be themselves more, meaning specifying what they're good at and what they're passionate about, about what they're interested in and finally collaborate, finally, you know, we realize that the banker and the shoemaker and the food maker all really need each other. Um, and, and it's about connection and communication and that's how the world is getting better. And the world is getting better and I'm going to talk about this later. We're going to bring Steven Pinker who's talking about violence levels in the world and, and we're going to just talk about different things. But the first thing, and the first and foremost, is I want you to know that you are loved. I want you to know that I love you. I know that could sound phony and that could sound weird, 
or that could sound awkward and quirky. And for that sake of the matter, I am weird and quirky. I love you. I want you to know that I love you. I want you to know that so many other people love you. I want you to know that you are deeply loved. <laughs> I want to congratulate you for bearing with me uh, through my excitement and my beginning. It means a lot to me. I really value your being in my life and you being in this existence and you being part of this reality right now that I'm sharing. It means a lot to me. You're helping me express myself. You're hearing me. You're being in the same line. You're being in alignment with me at this moment. And I want to congratulate you for being human and for being compassionate. You're compassionate to me right now. And I appreciate this so much. And I want to ask you, what makes you feel more aligned? What makes you feel more one with reality? What makes you, what expression would bring you another step to being more yourself, to being more aligned? Because that sense, that feeling of doing something that is more yourself just brings your psyche to a better place, right? So again, thinking about it and acting about it are two different things. I want you to think about it. Think about what action would bring you to be more aligned with reality. Think about what action would make you more comfortable. What action would make you feel more yourself. And it's just thinking about it. You could write to me, you could respond, you could make a video about it, or ask someone close to you for ideas. I want to bless you with a feeling of closeness to reality, of more authenticity, more yourself, and just better, okay? So see you soon. I'm gonna do this very often. Uh, it's so hard to open up and just share my heart and express, but I really want to do it, so...